Don't want to brag, but I had a stellar spring lettuce season. And I didn't want my lettuce garden party to end. So here is a look at my fall secession lettuce, which features a all year round lettuce, a sweet butterhead blend, and a heirloom French lettuce known for vibrant pink and burgundy overlay. Trust me, she is a gorgeous beauty and she knows it. We begin the video with two ways to start your lettuce from seed. So come on, let's get started. We've got lots to do. Hey guys, August 1st, really, really enjoyed this little trial packet of this Butterhead blend I got from Jung's. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my own soil that I get as, this is sort of a little reserve bucket here because I compost in place. I have a video on that as well. So, can you see those little sesame seed looking things here? Right there, right there, that's our lettuce. All you need to do for lettuce is just cover it very finely. That's it. I'm gonna lightly tap it down. I'm gonna do that to all four cells. Um, I already pre-watered this, so it will have a good chance of germination. All right, she's all done and covered up. And if you can see right here, that depth is supposed to be 1 8 to a fourth inch and that's really hard to tell especially if you're a beginner so that's why I said just a little bit you're barely covering that seed and it's hard to tell what is an eighth and what is a fourth when you're working with such teensy tiny seeds like that barely cover it lightly pat it down okay so can you see those center those seeds right at the center got some here and I've got some here. I've got three of them in here. And what I need to do is just take my butter knife and cover up the one fourth of the inch. Because what I did was I just came like this. I went about one fourth of the way inch deep and I just lifted the soil back, scooted this, made my hole, put my seeds in here. Now all I need to do is come in and kind of like just Plop it back down, lightly firm it in. And I already pre-watered this outside. Okay, and I'm just gonna repeat the process with these two. And I'm just taking it out of here. And it's easier if you just count your three over here to the side and push them up with your fingertips. Otherwise, it's really easy to scoop way more than three out of here. I did make my own labels and I cut them out of an old frosting container and I just abbreviated that. Okay, easy breezy. All right, so we are all done. Lightly pat it down. I've got my label, my tag in here um, so that I can tell which is which when I'm doing my fall planting. I've got it inside a bowl in case I had any leaks. Our lettuce is doing fantastic, guys. Started a few more behind it. Look at how well our new harvested seeds are coming up for us. Fantastic. All right, guys, look at how fantastic this French lettuce is coming along. It's going to be so great this fall. All right, it is September 5th today, and I have started more seeds for the fall. And we're going to follow this along, and we're going to see what I'm going to do with it because I have an idea. Now let's look at some of the lettuce that I've already grown. Now I keep my cells. I did not buy this. I made this with my own compost. And look at how gorgeous that French lettuce is there. 
All right, let's go up front real quick. Guys, I already started some lettuce here in this lovely bean tower I've got going on, which actually turned into an archway because of the weight. And I got some more growing right here. And you can see I put things around it so the squirrels won't get in there and dig. And I need to do that over here because I seen them in here yesterday. Let's take a real quick look at this bean tower. Look at that. Oh, I missed this one. Came out here to pick this morning and I missed this one. But look how gorgeous she is. I know. It's right in front of my door, but I can still get in and out if I need to. If, you know, Chewy arrives. Otherwise, it's very temporary. All right, September 24th. We're going to bury some of these old eggplants that we can see down here. This frog finger eggplant. I'm going to bury the entire plant. I've got some shredded paper down there. The eggplant. I've got some cucumber vine. I'm also going to put some grass on top of it. And then I'm going to take my soil, put into that bucket, because I am constantly com cold composting in place, which is over here. And I'm going to put it into this bucket. And I'm going to plant this gorgeous red French heirloom lettuce that I started from seed, and you're welcome to watch that video. And then I'm going to set the entire bucket on top of the table, on top of that buried cold compost spot, so that I can have some nice fall lettuce, because this area along this side of the house and this side of the house gets the best sun for fall. All right, guys, before I buried them, I wanted you to see how fantastic the root development was on this. And remember, I use my own soil that I had been cold composting. I cold compost in all of my soil to where it's really ready to go. The worms are doing their job and they're really creating a very nutrient dense soil for me constantly. So much so that I can grow lettuce and some old cells, make my own little tags, and have fantastic root systems. I'm gonna bury it here and here, and then I'm gonna water it generously. Check out my Etsy shop, T-shirt Garden Company, featuring gardening, no mo may, sewing, tiny house, zen meditation designs. Link in box below. October 4th, and I have germated some additional lettuce for the fall. All right, you guys, so here are our pots. I've got a good amount of paper down there. I've got some bark. Nothing wrong with the tree. Just old, had a little lightning experience. As long as it's not infested with anything, you're good to go. No disease, no fungus, no bacteria. And I have some old seed pods here. And since this is a hybrid, I don't really want to save these seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do a full circle of life on this. And here is how tall it looks or how much that pile was. Next step, put your soil or your compost on top. All right, now it's ready to water down. Also, all of the roots that I pulled out from the green beans will also decompose. I've got some great grass in here and leaves. Anything that you're gonna find in a forest like that, that is not going to cause us a problem but whatever you're going to find in the forest nobody's toting in bags of miracle grow to the forest this is all a full circle regenerative cycle and that's what we're going to use now all i need is to put some more green bean vines on here then i'll top it with some dirt i'll water it in wait a couple days to wait for the sink because i want these ones to be a little bit taller than these over here I need to put a lot of these in here, smash it down because I want it to look like this in the end with about that much 
compost on top. So let's say about six inches of compost on top. And then I'm gonna water it in, wait for it to sink, put some more on here because things are going to mix and mingle in here and sink down in these vines. And then we're going to plant some lettuce a lot like this here. You can see I've got more coming up and germating and over here and over here. So I got lots. Oh, and I also have some already growing up over here. That's the biggest one all year round. Isn't it lovely? October 16th and look at how fantastic these lettuce transplants are doing. And obviously I got this really full, but all of those seeds were viable, so that's outstanding. Hey guys, let's look at our fall lettuce harvest here, which I've gotten different increments of growth. I started a few more in here as well. Also a few more in here. There's going to be that great um, butter lettuce, this beautiful French lettuce. Can't wait. October 21st and this I did some repotting and I moved some of these cells. I removed the tomato and you can see this one's still getting a lot of shade too from these zinnias. It's only about 11 a.m. though. Okay that is doing so good right here with these sweet peas. I transplanted one of the bigger ones back here because this will probably be out of here by the time these need more room anyway. All right, you guys, look at how gorgeous these are. Got a big one in the back, a little one in the front. Makes sense, right? And I can kind of move that when I've decided what I'm gonna do with this, with all of them. The ones I started in the cells. Look at that, that definitely needs some water. Hey guys, October 23rd, and it is going to be about in the 70s for the next seven days, which is rare. So what we're doing today is transplanting that fall lettuce crop that I already started from seed. I've already planted the other three out, and here's how I'm doing this. The first step is I am going to put bark that has no infestation, infection, bacteria, nothing. And you will see me use bark or small twigs a lot to achieve hugel culture to give it that sponge-like quality. And this is way too big, so I had to bust a lot of this up. That's okay, as long as you get that in there and you can have that nice sponge effect especially for fall, because nobody really feels like coming out when it's cold to water. Got some leaves, this year's leaves I pulled. Got a nice abundance over here. Next step is you're just going to fill it, and I filled mine with my homemade um, composting in place soil that I have done for years. It's in my special spot over there. And if you guys watch my videos, you probably already are familiar with that spot. And you can see where I've shredded some paper, some windowed envelopes before. How that kind of stays in there, but the paper has broken down. And it's broken down several times. I'm constantly putting kitchen scraps over there. When I dug into this over there, it was like butter. Nice, rich. And look, you've already seen this. Look at how fabulous those roots are there. Excellent. And here we go, all nice and potted up. All I really need to do is water. I wanna water it extremely well because it's been in these containers, these cell packs, for weeks now. And I really want it to be able to spread out I want it to know it's got all this moisture as reserve around it. And if you can see, you're really planting it 
just even with the actual cell pack. Now, what I'm gonna do, since this is fall, is I've made myself a nice little trench here, and I'm gonna line them all up. That way, if I need to move this, if this gets too cold and I want to use the greenhouse further into winter to keep producing my lettuce, I can. The trench will serve as warmth reserve, as moisture that it can pull from that it couldn't if it was just sitting out here. And also all the concrete, the cement blocks around it is gonna help to create that solar bank in those roots and, or in that pot, I should say. And if I wanna move it, all I really have to do is just pluck it out of this trench, but it disturbs none of the roots at all if I would like to place it into that greenhouse. So we'll see how everything goes. I'm gonna keep going. I'm just gonna line them up here, guys, and then I'm gonna drench them, and I'm gonna fill them back with dirt all around. It's 11-11 today. Look at how gorgeous these lettuces are doing over here. Look at that, the thing is huge. Probably just a couple more days and then I can pick and eat that. This one over here is not far behind. Look at that after I transplanted these. It really came to life over here. Along with these. They're getting so much more water. Now that I transplanted and I'm watering all around them so they can suck all that up too. Hey okay guys, it's not quite cold enough yet. It's been unseasonably warm here still. I was in a t-shirt yesterday, but when these are ready for it, I've got these little greenhouses here. French heirloom lettuce, cleaning it up. I'm going to refrigerate it. And then I'm going to make myself a killer salad, including some of these gorgeous shallots, which is red of Florence. I grew myself and also my fall harvest of snow peas, along with lots of other stuff. Hey guys, today is November 13th, two days ago, two, I was out here in a t-shirt getting my hair cut outside. Now I have to cover all of the lettuce. And I've done that with a Kroger bag. Two of these dollar store plastic bowls secured with some brick. And you can see there's a little bit of fog underneath there. These snow peas might not survive, that's fine. Uh, Kroger bags at the end with those three heads. I also have a nice plastic regular um, garbage bag, bowl, it's just a little ice cream thing for this tiny one. This is the one that I cut today. I've got it cleaned up. I'm going to make a salad. Another bowl here. And I've used Tidy Cat litter containers to make a little greenhouse along with those um, rolly little file cabinets. I took the row that was over here that I had buried in the ground, I obviously have taken those out. I put compost in there because um, I needed to do that again. But all of them except one that's in the house. So two of them fit in here, two of them fit in here. And then in the middle, I have the one plant that I had planted securely in the ground. So. It's 32 degrees today. Two days ago it was in the 70s. I, of course, am barefoot because I hang on to the very last day. But it is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Look at these big flakes. Nothing else is going on except for lettuce and snow peas. And I'm hey guys, it was so cold that I ended up cutting this biggest one. Now I'm just going to fix it and chill it. Thank you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety, everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.